All right, here we are, uh, round two. My round one opponent uh, conceded the match immediately. I guess he just wanted to open some cards. Seems kind of expensive, but I guess you get you get the worm coil engine too. That's the pre-release card. Um, I'm going to uh, play last. So, uh, well, that's that's uh, that's keepable. That's pretty good, actually. Um, I got the arrest. I have no red, uh, no black mana, but uh, I have a pretty good curve and and my rusted relic uh, and enough artifacts to make rusted relic active. So I'm gonna keep. <clears throat> I thought, yeah, during the round where I had nothing going on, um, I realized it was really, really close between white and black, uh, red and black, and I may try setting into red during, uh, sideboard, like, uh, Koth is, like, Koth doesn't really protect, protect himself, but Embersmith is great. Uh, it's actually not that good against me, because I'm not playing more, I'm only playing one mirror, and I don't have, I actually have a ridiculously low number of X1s for this format. Now, that's not to say you can't activate it twice in a turn, but not not all that quickly, I don't think. You need you need some, like, zero mana artifacts. Um, yeah, so uh, what I was saying was <coughs> cough doesn't protect himself all that well, but if like if you can drop it on the right board position, it's gonna be it's gonna be a pretty close to a bomb. And and my other black cards weren't really bomby. And considering I had Kudotha Phoenix and Koth, it's like two bombs against one. Even though Painsmith is gonna be very good for me with all the artifacts, um it's not quite I don't think it's quite on the same level. As the other guys. Oh, that's pretty good. <clears throat> uh, that goes well with Ember Smith. Well, any artifact goes well with Ember Smith, but that in particular. Um, so here I'm just going to drop. Ooh, no, I don't have the mana for it yet. Um, I'm going to drop my Rusted Relic. It'll be active next turn with a spell bomb if he has no removal. <coughs> five five for four is pretty. It's pretty good. It's a little bit easy to disrupt at this point. I'm only going to have the three, the minimum for uh, metalcraft. I was also looking over my pool, and I realized that Cursed Flesh maybe should have made the main deck. Okay, I think that might get arrested next turn. It's a pretty solid card. And I'm going to play Necrotic Ooze. Especially because it can actually tap for two mana. Not that I'm going to need that necessarily. Well, I got a I got a five five to bash with now. <clears throat> if I had a two turn clock. Like this turn and the one, because I'm only doing seven now. So, like if I arrest the school, I'm I'm doing seven. So that's not enough to kill him next turn. So, I think it's better to drop the ooze and save arrest for next turn. Uh, I'll just say, well, it doesn't really matter. He's tapped out, but I'm not going to attack with it. <coughs> Excuse me. No, 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 no!
that's just what happened. I like tilted to the. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's gonna that's gonna cost me unless I can draw an artifact. Ah, that's annoying. Oh, I get a mountain, but I don't get to play my ooze. Like, and I can't undo that. <laughs> I just sort of slipped when I wanted to uh, tap my swamp, and because I only had two tapped, it didn't even give me the opportunity change my mind. I'm gonna I'm gonna be on on the back foot now. <clears throat> Good old misclicks. Well now it's definitely gotta get arrested. I couldn't even like arrest afterwards. Hmm. Okay, well, I definitely have to arrest the school. So that means I can't drop ooze. Could not have played out worse. Wait, no. That's not how I want to tap. Because I'd like to keep white open for my idol. Okay. Arrest the school. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna keep going to idle back. Maybe I should. Be nice to be able to gain life at some point. But maybe he won't want to trade his uh Embersmith. You know what, I, I think Ember Smith has to die. No, no, I, I gotta I gotta keep attacking. <clears throat> Especially because if I draw another artifact, I've got a five five. And a much faster clock. Man, if I didn't if I I, I think I'd win this game if I didn't misclick there. Oh, that's game if he has an artifact. Hmm, no, doesn't have an artifact. I would like to gain a life. I have a blocker for the school next turn, so if I can draw an artifact here, I'm still in business. I can bash for five. Okay, it's not all that threatening. Artifact, yes! <coughs> um, I'm going to have to play my land anyway, because I do need to block. No, I'm not attacking with it. I'm not going to let him know I have another blocker here. Okay. Alright. I have a chance. The only problem is I lose Metalcraft because I have to chump with my idol. Let's see what he's drawn here. Nope, <laughs> I don't have a chance. Okay, well, that misclick definitely cost me there. Um, yeah, so I was, uh, it's not called Curse Flesh, it's called Flesh Algae. Flesh Algae probably should have made my main deck. Um, it plays well enough with the, it, it's where you have to sacrifice a creature. But you kill anything unconditionally. And they lose some life. <clears throat> and like also arrest is an uncommon uh, is a common in the format so if they arrest your guy you can sacrifice it 
he doesn't, I don't know if he has a rest, but, um, I also have the Perilous Mirror, who's a decent sacrifice, but also, I mean, like, unconditional, if I have one mirror, mm. anyway, um, let's try not to misclick this time, and I should be okay. So, like, if I go, if I wanted to switch to red, it would be like something like Kudotha Phoenix, Koth, and Volshop Reckle, but which, which was actually playable in my main. I don't know if it was better than anything. Like, even though I only have the one green, that's a it's a pretty useful, it's a pretty useful uh, sacrifice. It'll be probably more useful than. In this one, even though it's more like I have actual lands that can activate it, the three damage is not going to be the most useful thing for my deck, I don't think. <coughs> Excuse me. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to black. Oh. No, no, let's try it red. I keep the black cleave because I do have the Moriak replica. Um, I didn't like. Yeah. Okay, so I want to add mountains. Six. Six more, so that's seven total. That's. Maybe a little low. Oh, it's okay. I have the search. Okay, submit quick. Um, it's also an extra artifact. With this build, I get one extra artifact for Metalcraft. Again, I will play on the draw. I, 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 even though he had the answer for my arrest, I still think I had that game. With the extra four that I'm swinging with, with the ooze, the turn earlier, I think I, I think I, well, I, I definitely would have played out a little differently at least. May not have won. I lost my, but I lost my metal craft for a turn, and yeah, that did, that was really not, not good. Am I frozen here? Would not like to play first. Test, test. All right, so this is this is uh, definitely a keepable hand. Um, it, one way of getting around uh, misclicks like that is to n announce your spell before tapping the lens. It's a habit that I've always wanted to get into. I just can't. I, I, I've been doing it the other way for too long that I can't force myself to switch, but, but like, it really, uh, you know, you're going to get those misclicks every once in a while. I've got one, too. Um, yeah, you're, you're going to get those misclicks every once in a while, so uh, it's good to do, have habits that, that sort of lend himself to avoid that that kind of stuff. Um, next 